Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is about risk and it says don't take any risks at this time. Uh, you might find yourself being manipulated by somebody that you love and trust. So just be alert. So this is a big warning over there. Just be careful about who you trust. And you've got the turbulence card over here that says this is not a time to make a big career changes, large purchases, or move. So severe turbulence indicates for the next eight days, make choices and wait out the storm. So whatever problems you're going through, don't make any big decisions. Just wait for things to settle before you start making big choices here. And you've got the control card, which says feeling controlled by partner or family. Opposition could delay your future plans. Hold tight to what you feel is right and know your strengths. Do not defer from your goal or dreams. So hang in there. Uh, you know, maybe you feel like you're being manipulated, um, but it's time for you to take control. Stand up for yourself, really. And, um, you know, um, make sure that people know where you're coming from. Uh, so don't take any risks over here. Whatever problems you're going through, you need to hang in there uh, and not make any big decisions for a little while until things settle down. So in the past, you've got the home card over here. So you might find yourself, uh, find that somebody's pushing you to your limit, forcing you to become more protective of your home and family. For reasons of security, you might find it necessary to move your family off or yourself to another location. Follow your intuition. So it seems like there's, you know, some kind of problem coming in over here. Uh, you, you might be being pressurized by somebody around you, trying to take control or manipulate you as well. Uh, you know, maybe you, you need to cut them out of your life completely or try and move away from them uh, because there are somebody that's, you know, causing a little bit of problems over here. It looks like there might have been, uh, there might be a home move as well that you want to make as well because maybe you don't even like the neighborhood you're living in. You've got the completion card going into the future, so it's a time of reward, opportunity, success, love, money, and good health. A stranger brings good news, a completion of lessons finally learned, and feelings of self-satisfaction concerning your job. So things start to work out. You will complete that cycle. All that problems will come to an end uh, with this completion card. So whatever you're going through, just hang in over there. Uh, it's just um, you know a little longer to go. Uh, don't make any big decisions for the next couple of weeks, um, and you know be aware that you know you are somebody is trying to manipulate you as well so be aware of that uh, but things will sort themselves out in the future so those are the energies for that week so this is the tarot of apocalypsis or tarot apocalypsis i have put it in the description box so please have a look It's a lovely deck. It's very, very multicultural. Beautiful. So you've got the Three of Pentacles over here, and here you are working very, very hard. So you are focusing a lot on your earnings, workings. You might be collaborating with a lot of people, a lot of networking going on, and you're in very much a leadership role. Uh, maybe you're an expert at what you do, and you are consulting with other experts, uh, but you are very much in control of that situation. You can see very, very de detailed, intricate work being done over here, money being accumulated. You are working hard for your money, but it is coming so there is that focus on the work front. So it looks like you're starting something brand new over here. You've got the Queen of Wands over here. You might be dealing with a fire sign person as well. Uh, you are starting a brand new cycle over here. So maybe a new project. And this is the person that you're going to be working with. A fire sign person who is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and maybe they are helping you with this project. Maybe you're having to consult with them. This could also be that you might be traveling on um, you know, internationally, broadening your horizons over there, or starting a new um, branch in your work that you're doing that involves international travel and communicating with international people. You're definitely in a management role over here where you are taking control of that situation. And, you know, a lot of people listen to you. Um, you know, they are quite impressed with whatever you can do. So you are in a pretty good position, but starting something brand new, maybe on the work front um, or dealing with this person, a new relationship with this person, the Queen of Wands. The Ten of Cups, it looks like whatever difficult situations you've gone through, this might have been a family situation that was quite difficult and has now come to an end. And it seems like you've moved away from that situation. Or maybe you bought a new home. So you've ended an old, difficult family situation that was not serving you anymore. And it looks like you've started something brand new in the, new, in the recent past, which is like the last three months. So maybe buying a new home, even buying a new car. This is the Chariot card. So this is your card. So you have taken control of that situation. You're moving forward and you're not 
you know, moving forward very victoriously as well. You're not listening to anybody else. You're not following your own path. Um, and you are, you know, you're quite defensive. You're quite, uh, um, you know, intense about getting uh, things going your way. So you are now, you know, this is a card of great ambition and this is a card of great achievement. So you're well on the road to achieving all the goals that you had in your mind. You've got the wheel of, uh, of fortune over here, so you want things to change in a very positive direction. You are looking to the past quite a bit. Maybe you are still reminiscing about the past. Um, and maybe um, she looks a bit down, a bit depressed. So maybe you're feeling a bit unhappy about what happened. You didn't expect things to go the way they did, and you want a new change to come in to bring in new abundance. And it looks like that will come your way. The wheel of fortune um, is playing on your mind. You want to shift into a positive direction, and you want to have a hand in, in changing your future. So you're not letting things happen for you just like that by magic. You are actually you intervening and getting, you know, um, getting your fingers in there, making sure that you change the way things are going now. You're not leaving things to chance. You are definitely moving away from a very, very difficult situation. You've got the Six of Swords over here, feeling very lonely. Also looking at the past, but it looks like she's got the the sword against the past. So you are cutting that past out. It might have been a very difficult family situation that you're dealing with. And you are now feeling alone, feeling a bit isolated. Um, but uh, you have cut it out of your life completely and you are now moving forward. So you got the Nine of Wands. Because of what happened, you can see she's got her hands raised to the past. So you are stopping the past from coming in. You're not having any communication with these people from the past, whatever that situation was, because it was a very, very tiring situation and it caused a lot of drama and you're not willing to deal with it anymore. It seems to have brought you to your knees and you are, you know, there was a lot of drama. You can see there's a lot of fire over there. There was a lot of confusion and a lot of lies that were spoken over here. So you've, you've said no more. You are put a stop to it and now you are moving forward. You're not allowing people to have that effect on you anymore. You've got the temperance card over here. So this is healing from that difficult situation. It's also in your work uh, scenario, putting all your skills and talents, maybe getting advice as well from people, getting some professional advice. The temperance card is generally about healing, taking good advice and finding that middle road, finding that balance back again in your life where everything had upset your balance. It seems like you're trying to get back that uh, balance again. You've got the five of pentacles, so there looks like there may have been a loss of money and or a relationship that you went through in the past. And this is what you're still thinking about, uh, or the loss that you went through. Uh, it might have been financial, you could have lost, um, you know, the pentacles also signify relationships, so this could have been a loss of a, a relationship. So you are still uh, thinking a lot about that loss that you went through. You haven't gotten over it yet. So going to the future, got the Five of Swords over here, the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. The Five of Swords is, you know, there's still some kind of uh, um, situation that you've felt that you had, you know, that you've dealt with that left you feeling very defeated. It made you feel very uh, vulnerable. It also has made you feel, um, you know, like this person took advantage of you. You were lied uh, to and there was a lot of deception. Um, it was a really nasty situation. Maybe that person won in the scenario and you didn't this is how you feel very defeated as well this is the five of swords is you know having to let everything go and move on um, not being able to fight for your um, for whatever you've lost because that person maybe came across as being too strong there was too many people against you for you to actually win in that situation so you are moving away this could also be that you know you may have had gone through some kind of legal dealings and it may not have gone in your favor they might have been um you know, where the other person won off on a legal footing and you didn't, you were not victorious in it. You've got the magician over here, so there might have been a lot of lies and deceit. The magician following the Five of Swords shows there was a lot of manipulation that went on by the other person. Whatever they said, whatever they did was very nasty. And they also spoke um, a lot of untruths. And maybe this is why you feel very defeated in that particular situation. Now with this magician, you are starting again to manifest. So you will manifest what you need. Uh, you dealt with somebody who was a, very much a trickster, it seems, with this Five of Swords. Um, and But now you will be able to move forward. You've got the Eight of Pentacles over here. You've learned a lot of lessons from this encounter that you had. It's made you quite savvy about what is going on. A lot of wisdom came in. You've got Ganesha over here. But also now you are dealing with, uh, you know, you've decided to focus on your work. It looks like you're going to start something new where you do a lot of learning or you become, you take on that teacher role as well. Um, you know, and you've got that magician. You're manifesting uh, this new wealth, this new money into your life as well. 
So it looks like you are moving away from this nasty situation and moving forward positively. And, you know, you've learned a lot of lessons and you're now teaching it. Um, if it's a work situation, you're definitely getting some kind of job where you're getting becoming an expert in that field. Uh, so much so that you become almost like a guru where you teach people as well in that field. A lot of followers. Uh, but you are learning as well as, as teaching. So you are moving away from a very, very hard, difficult situation. Um, you know, you have learned a lot of lessons because you went through a lot of problems. Um, but that has only made you stronger. And the Wheel of Fortune will be turning in your favor. So it looks like you're going to start something brand new as well with this... Um, the full card to begin with so definitely something new and the fool also whirls in this particular deck so uh you know this new cycle is starting for you so you've got the balance card of here which is the second time the temperance card is appearing it says by merging of varying points of view you can generate extraordinary new ideas compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution there might be a bit of compromise needing, you know, you need that with the people that you're working with. But uh, listen to what everybody's got to say. Cause some brand new ideas are coming your way and you're going to spark on, it's going to lead you to come up with that brilliant new idea that you will come up with eventually. You've got the five of summer here, which says focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest intentions for you. A positive outlook to make things easier to recover from life's little difficulties so that you can move forward and upward. So this card is saying just hang in there, be positive, and move, pos and move forward in a very positive way. This five of summer is like the five of water, so don't cry over the things that, you were, that were lost. Rather cry, you know, think, look, at, look to the future and look to the things that are left standing uh, rather than looking at the past and crying over things that have gotten lost and you can never recover. You've got the ego card over here, which says you feel that you are trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus on material wealth and break free from negative thinking. So this is the devil card, the ego card here in this deck, and it's talking about, you know, um, try not to be so negative or try not to be toxic in your thoughts. Even with the five of summer, don't let depression get you down or bring you down or uh, prevent you from moving forward. You need to focus on to the future, find your balance again, and um, focus on healing and concentrate on healing. You are moving away from that um, difficult scenario and you are going to be successful. And whatever you're doing, you've learned a lot of lessons, so much so that you're becoming uh, you know, a great teacher. Um, and you, know, um, you are leading, whatever you're going to leave behind is bigger than what you have lost. So I hope that this um, reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.